Hi, everyone, and welcome to the first lecture on measures of association. In this lecture, I'm going to focus on risk versus odds and also touch on some of the relative measures of association. And then in the second lecture that is to come, we will talk about uh, more absolute measures of association, such as attributable risk and absolute risk reduction. So first things first, we need to have a very solid understanding in the difference between risk and odds with the definitions being that the risk is the number of people in a group with the outcome divided by the total number of people in the group, and the odds being the number of people in a group with the outcome divided by the number of people in the group without the outcome. So we can see that the main difference between calculating a risk and calculating an odds is in the denominator, with risk using the total number of people in the group and odds using the number of people in the group without the outcome. So as an example, let's use this two by two table on the left, which as always has disease status along the columns and exposure status along the rows um, to illustrate these calculations. So first starting with calculating the risk of disease among the exposed. This will be calculated by taking the number of people who are exposed with the outcome and dividing it by the total number of exposed. So the number of exposed with the outcome divided by the total number of exposed. So that would be 25 divided by 100, and that would give us a risk of 0 0.25 or 1 fourth. Now, if we were to do the odds of disease among the exposed, it would still be the number exposed with the outcome as a numerator, but the denominator will be the number of exposed without the outcome. So now it'll be the number of exposed with the outcome divided by the number of exposed without the outcome. So this will be 25 over 75 and 0 0.33 or one third. So these values can then be used to calculate some relative measures of association. So one common one is the risk ratio, otherwise known as the relative risk or the RR. And this is calculated by taking the risk among the exposed and dividing it by the risk among the unexposed. So in this case, we calculated the risk among the exposed as 25 over 100, and the risk among the unexposed would be the number of unexposed with the outcome divided by the total number of unexposed. So 100 over 300, which would be 0 0.25 over 0 0.33, which would give us 0 0.75. And putting this value into words, we would say, Patients with the exposure have 0.75 times the risk of the outcome compared to patients without the exposure. We can use the risk ratio to then calculate something called the relative risk reduction or the RRR. And the nice thing is this calculation is pretty simple. It's just one minus the relative risk. You know, we found that the relative risk is 0.75. So the relative risk reduction would be one minus 0.75 which is 0.25. And putting this into words, we would say, the risk of the outcome was 25% lower among patients with the exposure compared to patients without the exposure. You know, as the name implies, this is a relative measure. So we're saying that it's, that the outcome was X percent lower or X percent higher among patients with the exposure compared to those without the exposure, not really focusing on absolute measures. And as you can see, based on the way this is calculated, the risk ratio and the relative risk reduction are really two ways of saying the same thing. Um, the risk ratio just giving, you know, what is the ratio of the risk among the exposed to the risk among the unexposed and the relative risk reduction just saying, how much has the risk reduced among the exposed compared to the unexposed, which in this case is, you know, by 0 0.25 or 25%, going from a risk of uh, 0 0.33 to a risk of 0 0.25. Lastly, let's calculate the odds ratio or the OR. So this is the odds among the exposed divided by the odds among the unexposed. So I already calculated the odds among the exposed as 25 over 75. And the odds among the unexposed will be the number of unexposed with the outcome. So that's 100 divided by the number of unexposed without the outcome, which is 200. So we have 25 over 75 divided by 100 over 200. This can be simplified into 0 0.33 divided by 0 0.5, and we get an odds ratio of 0 0.67. And in words, this could be stated as, patients with the exposure have 0 0.67 times the odds of the outcome compared to patients without the exposure. 
And one you know, little trick that I want to point out is that if you're calculating a risk, a risk ratio and an odds ratio for the same sort of um, situation, the odds ratio will always be further from one compared to the risk ratio. So you know, if you're ever on a testing situation, you're not sure what the odds ratio might be and they give you the risk ratio, you know that the odds ratio must be further from one compared to the uh, relative risk, such as in this case, 0 0.67 is further from one uh, compared to 0 0.75. And that just has to do with the way that it's calculated. As usual, um, I recommend that you um, take your hand at practicing applying these concepts and the associated questions with this lecture. Um, again, there's going to be a lecture to follow focusing on absolute measures of association. Um, but I think having a solid handle on risk and odds is really the, you know, the key foundation for doing well when it comes to calculating relative and absolute measures of association. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, and good luck.